is Kramer Wetzel, and this is the Astrofish.net weekly update for the week that's going to start August 7th, 2006. So we got 8706. Maybe that means something, or maybe it's just another day. That's for you to decide. What do we have coming up this week? Well, we're having problems with the lighting department, as you can tell. What really kicked in, and you could have felt this Saturday, maybe Sunday, but by Monday morning, it's really strong and really pronounced. We have Saturn in perfect alignment with the sun. Both of these are in Leo, and they're right in the middle of Leo, and it's just taking some tough stuff and making it all a little bit worse. Saturn in traditional astrology is considered to be a difficult planet. Leos in traditional astrology are considered to be wonderful. You have that worked out. What's going on with Saturn? What's going on with Leo? what's happening in general. This is occurring right at about 15 degrees of fixed. And what that's going to do is take all the stubborn stuff that we've had stacked up for a while and it's going to bring it to a boiling point. We've got a long string of days which have been over 100 degrees here in Central Texas. As such, it seems like tempers are a little bit frayed. I'd watch out for frayed tempers for the rest of this week. We've got a rapidly approaching full moon. Looks like it's going to hit on Wednesday or Thursday. Get ready for it. Party time. Problem is we have Saturn worked into this equation too, and Saturn is always about work. If you have an opportunity in this next couple of days to stay late at work or to take some work home with you, or an opportunity like I do where I've got to work extra days, and be available for phone consultations at weird hours, you know what? That's what we're gonna do. That's what I'm gonna do, that's what you're gonna do, because this is all about work. This is all about going ahead and putting in a few extra hours. Now, it's holiday time for some people. As such, some people are taking their summer vacations and so on and so forth. If you have an opportunity to take a little bit of work with you, I'd suggest that you do that. Now, it's not all about work. This can be work on a couple of different levels. This can be karmic work. For me, something like a fishing trip can be work. And you understand that, don't you? You feel my, my position, I would hope. There's a little hotel that I like to stay at when I'm down in Port A. Hotel is called the Laughing Horse Lodge. It's like, I think, a laughinghorselodge.com. You can look it up sometime if you're going to be in Port A and you want to stay there. The reason I like this place is it's the perfect way to address this kind of Saturn energy. At that particular motel, it's, it's a, sort of a campy, revamped place. They have wireless internet. That's great. But they don't have a phone in the room. That means with my trusty little laptop, I can, when it so suits me, answer my email at that location. However, I don't have to worry about somebody ringing me up in the room telling me that it's uh, time to go to work or anything like that. It's a little bit of island time. It's a little bit of rest and relaxation. And it also allows me to remain in contact with the outside world as I need to be. The thing that's nice about it is it's on my terms. Look, with the Saturn Sun thing and the, the influence for the rest of the week, you need to stay in touch with work, but you can do it on your own terms. It's just like staying at that little motel. It's kind of a nice place and it's a nice way to approach this. Think about that. You've got access, but it's, once again, on your own terms. Dictate your terms and you've got it made this week. Do you understand that? I sure hope y'all do. Look, doesn't matter what happens, y'all have a good week. You hear?